hello everybody and welcome back to my learning space so as the video promises i am doing a life update i want to speak a bit about what's been happening in my life um musically anyways so for the past two months um i've really just been going through a plateau to be honest um, in terms of practicing, in terms of my music, you know, I've been feeling like, dang, you sound the same. I've been feeling like demotivated when I practice. Um, and this has been going on actually for two or three months or so. Um, I've just kind of been ignoring it, but when, when, when you really allow yourself to accept what you're going through, you realize that you are actually going through something hectic. Um, and I really went down a rabbit hole with this because I feel like I started to it started to make me feel a bit depressed, um, in a sense that, in a sense that like it was one of those days. You know, I had a really bad day the one time where I felt like. I can't play, like, I can't access some of the things that I want to express. Um, and it's evident in my playing, you know, I don't even need someone to tell me. Um, like, I'm my hardest, biggest critic, and I knew I was going through that, but I'd allow myself to get to a point where it started to make me feel sad. Um, and really, the reason why I dated, the reason why I have a partner who's a piano player is so that he can help me through these things you know i'm joking it's all love <laughs> um but i spoke to my partner about this and because he's a piano player as well he's able to relate to me a bit more a lot more and he was telling me that you know these things happen it's a matter of checking out things that are not like what you've been checking out basically so let's leave Magoy diner on the side okay leave Magoy diner put him here and do something else basically um you know i i'm just drawn to that sound and i think it's something that i've been working on for a very long time trying to really get it under my fingers but i guess the downside of that is that while you're mastering one thing sometimes you may not be spending as much on other things that enhance your playing or en enhance the nuances or of musicality even um so yeah that's just been getting me down really and you know i vented to him i was so sad <laughs> i was so sad because i just felt like man what's the point of working so hard and then get to a point where you're gonna feel like um what am i even doing because i really felt like why what am i even doing like this music is not for me like <laughs> it felt like i felt like loki giving up and wow who what why would i give up i've come so long um i've come so long to to, to be to feel this way so something needed to change and i needed to dig deep inside of myself and realize but babes you are stuck musically um it was a plateau i don't like saying stuck because stuck feels hectic but you are going through a plateau um and you need to get over that plateau you know so when i was chatting to my partner same day he helped me he told me you know what listen to some of these um first of all he asked me what what are you trying to achieve um outside of this plateau who do you want to sound like um or not who do you want to sound like but who what do you want to sound like and then you will check out people who have a similar sound to that and i was telling him um what my goals are and he then uh, shared some music we listened together shared some music with me that would help me in terms of the line that i'm trying to you know the path that i'm trying to walk so i just wanted to share this because i know this is a thing that is not faced by me only. I don't need to know other people's lives to know that. It's a normal thing um, to feel 
like you're not moving like you're being stagnant yeah so i just wanted to let you know that you're not alone if you were going through that um if you're looking for something new i would definitely encourage you to listen to music that's different music that you wouldn't expect yeah so other than that i have released an album i released an album on the 19th of december last year 2020 um, it's a double disc album and the first part really I would say was showcasing my vocal side because I really love to sing um, and I love love soul music R&B Afro pop kind of vibes um, I love vocal music and the second disc of the album is a kind of South African jazz style uh, so You'll find that disc one is vocal and disc two leans more instrumental. Um, and you know, when you're an independent musician, you kind of need to do everything yourself. Um, so I've been doing marketing ads. Um, I recently found out about this website called Submit Hub. You can submit your music. Um, someone at the door yeah you can submit to uh, curators people who curate playlists on things like Spotify and I think Apple Music as well or you can also get in touch uh, by submitting to people who um, bloggers and bloggers and people who are connected to companies or who work for companies who look for music for film and things like that so i think it's a cool platform you do have to pay for it unfortunately i think you buy credits and then you submit your music it i found it to be useful so a uh, submit hub is not sponsoring this video but if you are watching definitely um contact me and another thing that has just really gotten to my mind a little bit has just, you know, disappointed me is I made physical copies of my CD. I sent them to people. People were really excited to buy the CD. Um, and upon selling them, I had, f I had one complaint about someone who was saying that the CD has scratches. And I was like, jeez. Please can the CD not have scratches because I definitely did not listen to the CD, some of the CDs before I sent them. And in any case, I didn't feel like an, I, f I didn't feel a need to do that because uh, um, I would hope that the company who does, the, who makes the products double checks them before they send them out. And my biggest nightmare came true they had scratches i listened to about two of them that day and the companies did another batch for me but the, it was the same story i listened to the cds on two different devices and at that point i was getting complaints from other people as well so uh, it was a lot of admin having to message people and explain to them because i had people who had already paid and i'm selling the cd for 200 rand it was really disheartening for me to give someone a product that was not of quality so when i do get these cds done elsewhere um i'm gonna have to pay extra money for sending them to another city because i have people who've been buying out outside of cape town um and it's just a whole lot of admin so it's just been working me also just like eh, this is annoying um so yeah i just wanted to come to today to to give a life update but it was more so about the practicing and just um getting yourself to the next level because a plateau is that a plateau is kind of like uh, a, a mental state that you want to break so that you can move a step forward um get to the next level in your own growth um and that's definitely what i want and And that is definitely what I want. Um, and I am I know what steps I have to take to get there. Um, 
in the future so for the future i will be making more um tutorial videos jazz piano to be specific jazz piano tutorial videos i've been making a list of kind of video ideas that i think you guys would be in, would be interested in and also things that are just going to excite me into making a video um and i've if you have noticed for my past videos i have i have been selling sheet music via score exchange it's another website that i've sort of been trying out um to sell my sheet music so for some of my tutorials i will be making pdf music sheet music for you to buy um written out in all 12 keys if it's an exercise you can support me in that way and shout out to all the people who are supporting me on patreon you guys are really really helping me in a way that you probably won't really see or understand but um, your support is definitely helping me and on patreon i've been posting recently i posted um, my full jazz recital my master's um, major interim recital which i will post much much later to youtube if i do decide to post it anyway so and i posted a behind the scenes video of how i actually <laughs> how i make my videos um, all the equipment that I use and how I put everything together um, and I will be making a get to know me video soon on patreon as well so you guys can look forward to that um, but for now thank you everyone for supporting me please give this video a, a like um, and turn on the notification bell as well yeah I'll see you again in the next video bye